Hi there. Welcome to my ASMR walks. I had to walk down a little bit because it's so noisy. It's up by the sluice gates. We're actually along the river Blackwater. Um, I thought I'd get out, get some fresh air, um, help my recovery from COVID. So I've been out to find the Wickham Bishop's Viaduct. So I've parked up the car and going to see if we can find it. There you go. So it was easy, easy to find. Basically, uh, parked up the side of the road and there's a footpath takes you straight down. Just be careful though, because the footpath is very, very slippery and you'll probably find you end up uh, um, splash into the river. So this viaduct is uh, located on the River Blackwater. Um, I'll give you a little bit of information about it. It's called the Wickham Bishop's the Wickham, it's called the Wickham Bishop's Viaduct. So history says it's the only remaining wooden viaduct in the country. The Trestle Bridge, a scheduled monument, which was designed by Joseph Locke in 1845 to carry the Whitham to Malden single track branch line across the River Blackwater. So if you want to want to find it, what you need to do is put into your Google directions the Wooden Trestle Viaduct CM8 3JB and it, it takes you straight here. You can actually drive along the road, you can actually see it from the road. I did think there might have been a bit of difficulty actually getting to it. Um, yeah, so, <laughs> so we've got it, we're here. So I didn't think it was really that big actually, um, there was a lot of it left. It does, this is only a small part of it, um, if you google it um, or put it in YouTube, um, you actually will, uh, will find it. But I'm not sure that I would, uh, so I know some people walk across it but I'm not sure if I would walk across it to be honest. <laughs> There you go, for all you railway enthusiasts, I thought I'd come and do a video of this. It gives me some exercise, but also um, there's not much really about this viaduct. Um, not many videos or uh, topics about it. So there we go, that's what I want to add to, um, add to the collection. So I'm just gonna take another little walk up little bit further and uh, explore see what's what's about so as you can see I'm gonna take a little walk up further it's very muddy so if you're gonna come I would definitely take your boots I've taken it off my tripod because my tripod is just gonna sink in the mud On either side of the bridge, it's actually private houses. So you can't actually walk alongside this bridge, which is a good way, good in a way these houses because they've actually got private on there and this just keeps, keeps it preserved for, for longer. I'm going to take a little bit further up, walk up. It's a lovely, it's a lovely setting, lovely view, and there might be some other interesting things to see. Yeah, 
there you go just to show you how how muddy it is and how close it actually is to the river <laughs> so yeah tread tread very carefully and it started to rain i'm going to keep walking though a little bit of water doesn't hurt anyone like my dad said <laughs> A bit further up the river. Look at that branch across the river there. How tempting is it to go across that? <laughs> it's a little bit um, a bit too cold to do that today, just in case we fall in. 